identified just a handful of rooms that appeared to show indication of residue presence in the testing. Maybe on Traces of mercury brought to school by a student kept more than 3,000 Clovis Unified students home from school today. Classes at Rayburn Intermediate and Clovis East were canceled today after it was discovered that a student brought a container of mercury to school. Several children in school and on a school bus handled the liquid metal, which is a potentially toxic substance. Action News reporter Gene Hagison joins us now from the newsroom with why the health risk appears to be small. Gene? Warren and Graciela, mercury can be dangerous, so the school district had to react. The EPA had to be called in, but the risk from this exposure appears to be small. The closure of the two schools affected more than 3,000 students. Most seemed to get word of the closure, but not everyone received the message. I mean, I'm a nurse, and so it's always good to take public safety precautions, so I do agree with that. I just wish there had been a voicemail. The closure was called so hazardous materials experts could detect any traces of the mercury substance and clean it up. Identified just a handful of rooms that appeared to show indication of residue presence in the testing last night. The amount of mercury was small, about two ounces. Mercury is an unusual substance and interesting to manipulate, but according to poison control Dr. Rice Vora, in this form it didn't really pose much of a health threat. And it's always very unlikely that uh, that form of mercury causes the type of toxicity that we worry about with that form of mercury, which is inhaling the vapors. The doctor notes vapors could be inhaled, however, if the mercury is on the floor and swept or vacuumed up. Even though the risk was small, he says the school district was obligated to make sure the buildings are safe. You know, out of an abundance of precaution, whenever there's a moderate to large spill, uh, that does require them to uh, go ahead and, and close the facility or close the building uh, so that they can actually get the cleanup done right away. Six classrooms are being cleaned and all of the students who handled the mercury have been contacted. None have had any symptoms. Now the district says the student who had the mercury got it from another child and efforts are underway to track the ultimate source. Because of the cleanup and testing, the district is notifying students and parents that some weekend sports activities at Clovis East and Rayburn have been moved to different locations. School is expected to start on Tuesday. In the newsroom, Gene Hagenson, ABC 30 Action News.